Welcome to SAT 021. In this lesson, we will be learning about the mode. When you see the word mode in statistics or data science, it just means the most common value of a data set. So for example, suppose we have 2, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 6, and 6. Then we can count the number of each values first. We have 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 fourths, 1, 5, 1, 2, 2, 6. And so we can see that the 4 is the most common value. It appeared three times. And so our mode is 4. Let's take a look at another example. Suppose we have the number set 3, 2, 4, 6, 6, 4, 6, 4, 5. In our second data set, notice that it is not ordered. So let's arrange them first from smallest to greatest, like this. And now we can count the frequency of each values. We have 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 fourths, 1, 5, and then 3 sixes. Notice we have 3 fourths and 3 sixes. That means both 4 and 6 are the most common values. And so we have two modes, 4 and 6. OK, now we know what a mode is. Let's try out an exercise. The outcomes of 30 die rows are displayed in the table below with two missing values denoted by the letters x and y. What is the highest mean of these 30 rows if the mode is 3? Mm, OK, let's try to interpret the table first. The word frequency means that how many times the number appeared. In our case, we have six ones, four twos, and x threes, y fours, five fives, and five sixes. We're given that there are a total number of 30 rows, so the total frequency is 30. That means six plus four plus x plus y plus five plus five equals 30, and therefore x plus y equals 10. Let's remember that. And we're also given that the mode is 3. So x has to be greater than 6, otherwise 1 would be the mode, because 1 appeared 6 times. Now, if x is 7, then y would be 3, since x plus y has to be 10. Similarly, if x is 8, then y is 2. If x is 9, y is 1. But the question is asking for the highest possible mean. And that means we want as many fours as possible as opposed to threes. And so it has to be the case where we have x equals 7 and y equals 3. And that means we have 7 threes and 3 fours. And when that's the case, we can compute the mean by summing up all the values and divided by 30, which would give us the answer 3.4. Okay, that's it for this lesson about mode. I hope it helped. Thank you for watching. See you next time.